All right, everyone, Cody here. So I have got me some blue orchard bees. This is their little nest, and this is the actual bees right here. See this inside these little cocoons? Anyway, uh, I actually just got this, so I think I can go ahead and let these guys out. I might actually take these guys and try to push them down into a tube so it's a little more natural. So what happens is these bees, the blue orchard bees, they look about like this. Let's uh, focus the camera there. See that? They're a, a native bee to the area. They're a solitary bee, and they fill up tubes with mud, uh, pollen, honey, and babies. So basically a single bee, she'll go pick a tube, she'll go in the back of it, she'll lay an egg, give it some pollen and honey, and then she'll put some mud over top of that, and then add another egg, more pollen, more honey, another bit of mud until it fills the whole tube. Now these type of bees are actually kind of native. They, uh, I've seen them around. I've had to flush them out of my torches quite often. Uh, so giving them these uh, tubes, I, I definitely will get these full. Even if I don't, uh, even if I don't put these in there, I'll probably catch some. I w eventually want to have them inside the greenhouse. Um, I don't think I can do that right now because I don't have any flowers growing in there. Uh, possibly. We could like set up a feeder for them, but uh, they aren't honeybees. I don't really know anything about them. I don't know how to feed them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do what they do naturally. I'm gonna sit this down there inside this cement block. You know, put these little bees inside of here and just see what they do. You know, Maybe this first year I'll just run these, watch them a little bit and see if I can start in on it a little bit. Uh, you know, Rather than starting off doing something that's strange, you know, let's, let's do something that is uh, do what I'm supposed to be doing with them, what they're naturally intended. So, uh, so yeah, I eventually want to have uh, bees. I want to breed them for uh, greenhouse use. Let's actually head over here. So uh, the greenhouse, uh, this is just big enough that is rather, you know, I could pollinate it by hand if I decided to do it every day. It is just big enough that it gets to be a pain in the butt to go ahead and pollinate it. And uh, this is about the size I think that we would have out in space. Uh, this putting this on Mars I think would be quite doable. And uh, you know, like I said, pollinating it—it's a big job. It takes maybe half an hour a day at least uh, for me to go through and pollinate everything. And uh, if I had bees doing it for me, then it would be—you know—they'd just be living in here and they'd do it free of charge and they'd do it constantly do a much better job. You know, even if I had to grow some sugar beets and make a little bit of sugar for them to feed them, I think it'd be totally worth it. Uh, you've seen other videos that I've made. Anyway, uh, that sugar beet's actually got some aphids. Anyway, um, so these bees probably aren't going to do it quite yet. I like the idea of a solitary bee, just a few bees, because really you'd only need maybe 10 or 15 bees for this whole greenhouse. Uh, if you put a honey bee hive in here, the bees are going to want to build a large hive, they're going to bang themselves into the glass until they die. They're not going to be very good. These orchard bees, they hang out near the nest. They stick around. They, they don't fly two miles to find food. So I should be able to keep them here and uh, train them to stay inside the greenhouse. Now if I could over time breed them so that they uh, raise their young year round, so they're not all in the spring instead of, you know, going throughout the year. So I can actually go throughout the year and raise them all year long so they're produced, you know. Basically, I need to breed out the winterization process. I need to not have them hibernate. Possibly I could breed honeybees as well, and possibly this won't be the breed that we go with. But this is what I'm starting for now. I'm actually going to go talk to the bee lab soon and uh, see what they think. And perhaps we'll even get a project going up there. All right, so here we are. I've had these in the fridge for the past three months, you know, because they got to have a winter period, otherwise they'll never hatch. There you go. They're just like honeybees, really. They just, instead of being in wax, they're inside paper. They're actually, you know, if you look at this cocoon, it's very similar to the cocoon that honeybees make. It just doesn't have wax around it. Let's take this. Yeah, it's, it's paper and a little bit of a uh, fuzz. It's just like a honeybee thing. Let's see if I can get this to fit inside of this. I think... I think it should just fit. Look at that. Perfect fit. Alright. 
Now there is one issue that I think we're going to have is the fact that I have no idea which orientation they are. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these in there. You know, fill a few of these tubes and we'll see what happens. See, I'm just going to push them down in there a ways. Maybe I'll uh, mark the ones that I put thing in there and put a little bit of mud over the top so it's just like what it would be in nature. So I decided to try to dissect one of the cocoons because I was kind of worried that maybe all the bees were dead because they look kind of dry and this one was very wrinkly. But check this out. Can you, can you see that? The bees actually alive in there. Um, it's kind of too bad that I did this to it because it's probably not going to be very good. I basically probably killed it, but um, yeah, I've got a bee here. Let's see if I can take this thing off of it without killing it too bad. Maybe it'll survive. Hey, look at that, it's a little bee. Can you see that? That means that they're definitely alive. So uh, let's go ahead and let it out of the cocoon. Maybe it'll live. I'm gonna go find some flowers. I think there's some flowers blooming right now. It'll be fine. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Poor thing. It just came out of the fridge, so... How about that? It's alive. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, so that, that, that definitely tells me they're just about ready to hatch. Let's uh, go ahead and finish putting these in the tubes. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so their head is towards this tip there. It's good to know. Their head, because their head's at this pointy end there. I'll put that towards the outside. That way it's easier for them to get out, I assume. So, Mr. Reader. Yep. These bees, if they don't produce honey, they don't store it up for the winter, they won't make it through the winter, will they? Um, they store uh, pollen and food inside this tube for their babies, but the, the bee... The adult bee doesn't actually make it to the winter, no. So, the process is continued by each bee making a cocoon through the winter? Yeah, it's basically like every single female bee is a queen. You know, ah. She lays eggs, produces a little colony here inside these tubes. And then, uh, of course, she goes and dies. But she leaves a yeah. few more in her wake. Yep. Wow. Looks like a lot of these might actually be dead. Ah, this one's buzzing at me. So I guess it's not. Let's stick that down in there. <laughs> I hope they stick around. I hope they stay inside my thing. At least a couple of them. Maybe I'll take a few of them and put them inside the greenhouse. So let's stay in there, see if they do anything. I don't know. So in the wild, where would they actually hatch from? They wouldn't have these perfect little tubes. They'd find like some other animal's nest, like a hole in some wood or something. In fact, I'm not even sure if I should be putting these so close to the ground, but I think this is a good place because it's kind of sheltered. Um, just kind of angle it away from the wind and the rain. I think that would be just fine. Perfect. If they stick around with me. If they stick around, then they'll, they'll just come back here and they'll refill some of these tubes. I think even if just one of those does that, I think I'll be very happy. Uh, these guys, I might find some tubing that's about the right size and put it inside the greenhouse and just see if I can get them to stick in around in there. Maybe I'll get some uh, pollen and food for them. Might even do that for these guys. All right. At any rate, uh, I think that's all I can do for now. I will do another video when I'm up at the bee lab talking to them. Maybe they'll give me some better advice and perhaps I'll use uh, their facility. But until then, I'll see you next time.